back up, back up, back up. Just a massive amount of like earth and trees and everything just came down all at once. Go quick, quick, go, 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 go. Well, we were driving a water taxi around, picking people up and dropping them off. And um, it came down. Go, 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 go. And uh, a whole bunch of people were stranded. I think we're staying here tonight. We just kind of remobilized everything and just started running people back and forth. You know, realizing what the situation was with all the like residents out there and all of like the other businesses out there and their guests and then like the school kids and people that worked in town. And so we just kept doing it. Just a little bit of a safety talk before we uh, get too far out. Uh, this is Captain Tom. My name's Logan. It took him a whole month to like clear it out to where it is right now, which is still kind of a little bit of a precarious spot. But yeah, so we basically ferried people for a month. We know everybody out there. I mean, it's my grandma's homestead, but we couldn't really just have landing crafts and not help people out, you know? <laughs> I came up here when I was three with my mom. You know, we all lived in this cabin that was off grid at the point at that point. You know, we hauled our own water and eventually we got electricity there. We'd fire up a generator every night and watch like the Johnny Carson show on a black and white TV. Like the beach actually looked a lot like this back then. There wasn't a bunch of houses or anything. People started asking if they could camp on the beach and they started charging like $3 a night and then Miller's Landing was just kind of born. But the place has largely been built by us and we've always done our own maintenance and fixed our own stuff and you know all of our houses and all of our cabins out there have all been things that we've built. You know that's a very Alaskan thing too. There's not really anybody that can help us a lot of times. There's not really contractors available or anything like that. So you kind of figure it out. A lot of the people up here even if they disagree with you or your lifestyle or anything, they largely just kind of want to live and let live and let each other do their own thing. So that's what I like about it. And that's why I stay here and make this my home. All right, here we are, guys. Water taxis are important. Ferries are great if the community is big enough, but a lot of the communities aren't big enough. And you know, Alaska's huge, so and it's one of the things that is necessary to get things built or get people to places or, you know, to, to access it and open it up.